This is an abdominal Doppler exam to rule out Bud Chiari syndrome. This first image demonstrates good flow in the hepatic veins. The flow is downward, indicated by the blue color. And this is a normal direction, although a small amount of reverse flow uh, in the uh, central portions of the hepatic veins is normal due to the atrial kick. This is a Doppler waveform of the hepatic vein. It appears to be the right hepatic vein, and uh, we can see flow downward and a small amount of reverse flow here, and this is the atrial kick. Another example, this is the middle hepatic vein, and we can see a little bit of reverse due to the atrial kick. This is an image of the liver and transverse, and it's clear that there are multiple echogenic solid uh, nodules in the liver likely to be metastatic lesions. Here are some more tumors. Cross-section of the kidney can be seen on this image as well. This image demonstrates some ascites at the top of the liver. Here we have an image of the middle portal vein or the main portal vein entering uh, the liver. We can see in this image uh, the right portal vein filling with color. The uh, scale is, uh, is rather low and it's, it's hard to tell because of the aliasing what the direction of flow is. On this image, the flow should be toward the top of the uh, screen, and it is, and the right uh, portal vein is flowing in the right direction. There is some mild phasicity that is normal in a portal vein. This is the left portal vein, and it is filled with uh, solid material. This is likely to be thrombus, although it could be tumor invasion. Color Doppler demonstrates no flow in the obstructing area here and here, and this makes it more likely to be thrombus. We can see some more uh, solid material in the portal uh, just at the uh, confluence of the right and left portal veins more material again in the left portal vein. Again, no flow in this uh, material indicating that it's less likely to be tumor and more likely to be uh, thrombus. This is a Doppler of the uh, left portal vein and uh, we can see that flow is away from the transducer or back in an outward direction uh, from the liver and this is abnormal. Flow should be toward the top of the screen in this vein. Here's some flow in the main portal vein. This is a uh, hepatopedal. Uh, we can see it flowing. Uh, it is red. It is flowing toward the top of the screen. This is the normal direction. There are some areas where there's some retrograde flow as well, so we're getting uh, some reverse flow in the main portal vein. This is an image of the uh, vena cava. This is coronal image from the right side. And we can see some thrombus up here, and we can see significant thrombus in this location. Again, thrombus in the vena cava, which is somewhat enlarged and uh, with some uh, increase in gain, it, it shows up very nicely. Here's the main portal vein. We can see thrombus in uh, this vessel. And here's a transverse of the uh, liver with uh, a few of the echogenic solid nodules visualized. Some more solid nodules.
located and some free fluid located around the liver as well. Long axis of the liver showing more nodules, some hypochoic areas as well that appear to be solid. And this is a measurement of the spleen. It is greater than 15 centimeters, which is abnormal. And so we have mild splenomegaly, ascites. We have uh, thrombus, most likely thrombus in the left portal vein and in the main portal vein. Uh, there's reverse flow in the left portal vein, to and fro flow in the main portal vein, and normal directional flow in the right portal vein. In the vena cava, there is a large amount of thrombus uh, in the area near the diaphragm and a smaller amount of thrombus in the area uh, close to where the renal veins would enter the vena cava. There was normal flow in the uh, hepatic veins.